was the, actually came as an idea to Whitney Tilson, who's here, uh, when he was reading a newspaper article about a program down in Dallas, Texas. And what they had done was they had created an incentive program similar to REACH uh, and buttressed that incentive with a, uh, a series of workshops that really helped students uh, prepare for their, for their AP exams and really support the work that these students' teachers were doing in the classroom. Very similar to what we have here. Um, I know you guys may not know this, but the vast majority of high schools that serve low-income students uh, don't even have one AP course in the whole school building. And what distinguishes your school, the school that you go to, uh, from those schools is a lot. A lot in terms of how your teachers approach the way they, they want you guys to prepare for, for uh, success in life. Academic rigor is important, it's critical. We need more young people, not just to graduate from high school. We hear, when you read the newspaper, uh, you read about the graduation rates, etc. The REACH program is really concerned about the graduation rate increasing for college. Far too few students coming from low-income backgrounds graduate with a four-year college degree. And you may not know this, but nowadays, in the economy that we live in, if you want to participate meaningfully in the economy, if you want a good job, if you want to be able to support your family and do well uh, for yourself and for your family and for your community, you need at the very least a four-year college degree. The best way that we thought we might have an impact is by working with schools that serve large populations of students who come from uh, low-income backgrounds and moderate-income backgrounds to encourage more of them to participate in the AP program, which most people understand really is the gold standard of education for high school students. <laughs> this year, uh, we have 3,500 students who have registered with the REACH program, which we think is phenomenal. Last year, we piloted, piloted a series of workshops, just, just like the ones we have today, the Learn and Win workshops, and 610 students participated. As you guys probably all know, we tweaked the incentive structure around just a little bit, uh, and so that we, we would get more students to participate in our, our Saturday workshops. And this year, we've seen a five-fold increase in, in that participation rate. There are 3,000 students, including yourselves, who we expect to get some uh, to come to the workshops on Saturdays at Baruch, and we are excited that you guys are going to be preparing so uh, so hard for these for these exams in, in May. Now, uh, let me. I'm going to call up a great friend of the Reach program, and he really doesn't need much of an introduction. Uh, all I can say is <coughs> that this is an individual who has, over the past six years, seven years, uh, has had such a tremendous <coughs> impact on the way our schools uh, are structured, uh, in the way, the, in, in terms of the quality of instruction, and someone who has such a commitment to reforming what had been a broken system. And we've made some tremendous strides uh, because of the commitment that our Chancellor, Joe Klein, has had to young people and to, uh, to the communities uh, in which that, that, that he starts around New York City. So without further ado, everybody, you know who this man is. Yeah. Give him a round of applause. <laughs>